How's you going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Uh, continuing along this theme of, uh, you know, lawn mower and, and trimming and grass and all. You can hear the mower going in the background. That's Nanny out doing the, the grass. Uh, I have a, a whippersnipper here. It's a steel FS90. And what I really like about this whippersnipper is, uh, well, a couple of things. One, it's a four-stroke engine, but it runs on two-stroke gas. So you mix oil with the gas, but it's a four-stroke engine. So uh, I like that. I like the idea of a four-stroke engine. It's a little heavier, but uh, it lasts. And uh, steel equipment is good, and I've had good service with this whippersnipper. The other thing I like, it's got the bicycle hand grips on it. And uh, what we're going to do today is, uh, right now I have a brush cutting wheel on it on the end there. So what the project is today in Grampy's workshop is we're going to take that brush cutting wheel off, we're going to put the whipper snipper head on it, and I also over the winter I bought myself a harness and I have to figure out how to put that on uh, to see if it'll hold the, uh, the whipper snipper better because I find with the whipper snipper with the harness that came with it, it hooks right here, that you're, I'm bent over doing it and it's hard on my back. Okay, hey, I'm old. But anyway, that's what we're up to today. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to change the blade and put the uh, whippersnipper head on it. So here's my whippersnipper, and uh, if anybody's worked on whippersnippers before, you know that uh, they're like an octopus. They're gangly, and they're hard, to, they're hard to get someplace where you can get a hold of them decent. But anyways, I have to take this uh, wheel off, this cutter disc, so I just have a there's probably a tool that came with it, but I can't find it. So I just have a nail here with the head cut off it. So there's a slot in the side there where you can stick that in to hold it. So that locks the wheel. And then, yeah. And this is a left handed uh, bolt on this. So after you make your first attempt to try to loosen it, and you find out just exactly how tight it is. Then you can flick the ratchet over and loosen it. Okay, so there's my uh, my brush cutting wheel, and it's uh, <laughs> pretty dull. Okay, it just spins on. Because it's left-handed, you have to uh, unscrew it to put it on. And you just plug that up a hand. So there, that's that part done. So now, see what I mean by gangly? It's got stuff sticking out where you wouldn't expect it to be, and the balance is all off. Anyways, I'm going to try and put this harness on. This is supposed to be on my side. <laughs> I think this goes at the back. Anyway, I'll come back when I get this straightened out. All right, I'm struggling with this, but what I did was I even forget where. Oh yeah, right here. I loosened the straps. And then, while I was loosening the straps, I discovered a clue. Look, a clue. There's a buckle on it. She's a nice one too. It goes right together nice. So, we're going to try this. I want this on my right hip, and this on my back. Okay, so I got it over my head. This I want to be down here on my side, like that. Take my glasses off, I've got enough stuff dangling off me already. And then this, I'm going to click in there like that. <laughs> I don't know folks. I got pads on my shoulders, and they're shoulder pads, so that a good sign. Whoopsie. Here's a little heads up for you. 
When you go to tighten this side strap, don't hold on to that part of the buckle. Okay. Fits around my belly pretty good, I'd say. How does it look? This shoulder strap seems loose. And twisted. Okay, I'm going to go with that. So then we take the wicker snipper, and that should hook on here. So, there we go. I'm all hooked up and ready. It doesn't seem to be too bad. So what do you think? Suppose all the straps are twisted back there. Does it look like I could go out and whip or snip for hours? Uh, one thing I'm hoping is that this uh, plastic shield on my hip here, you can see that, I'll back up a little, right here, this plastic hip shield, I hope that uh, guards my hip good so that I can just, okay, anyway, we're going to go try it. So uh, that's a little uh, try out with the whippersnipper and the, uh, the new harness that I bought. Uh, talking about the harness, uh, I'm going to say that I'm not real impressed with it. It's, uh, I thought it would hold the, the whippersnipper better on your hip, but it tends to move around a lot. Uh, but anyways, you know. What do you expect? I got this off, off of Amazon last winter. I think I paid maybe 20 bucks for it. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe 30. But anyways, uh, I thought it would help a lot. I do like that it spreads the load over both shoulders. Because I think if you're out there for any length of time, your shoulders certainly would appreciate it. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to put on. But once you get onto that, I think she'll go on and off a lot better. So, you know, anyway, there it is. And uh, when I, I just did a very little bit of whippersnipping out there in the yard, uh, it held the, the whippersnipper, I thought, at a little bit of a high angle. But again, that might be adjustments. Who knows? But anyways, that's it. Uh, my whippersnipper, I love it. It's a steel FS90. And, well, the jury's still out in this harness. But anyways, appreciate you tuning in and watching. We'll talk to you.